Hey guys! Woo! Hey guys! Welcome back! This is the Three Digital Digital Monsters Season Two, Episode Twenty eight of my show, but this is about episode 27. Now, before I start talking about it, I just want to mention something about one of my other projects coming up. Um, what I'm mentioning is, what I want to mention about is the history on the Power Rangers series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the first, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a warning about that one. Um, the first season of the Power Rangers franchise that I'm going to be doing is really extremely, extremely long. It's like 60 episodes total. So I just thought, I'd, since I started this video, I just thought I'd give you guys a little heads up about that when I get to that project. Expect a lot of videos for that, at least for the first season and stuff. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Now getting back into my history of Digimon series. Uh, this is History of Digimon Digital Monsters Season 2. Episode 28 of my show, but this is about episode 27. Uh, now, episode 27 is known as, in the English dub as Fusion Confusion. Now, the reason why it's called that is because, and the way this episode starts off, it kind of starts off from where, um, where uh, episode 20. Of, uh, episode 27 of my own show, but about episode 26 left off uh, with um, x Mon and Stingmon digivolving together to create one Digimon. Now, I, I'll explain who that Digimon is. I explained what a new form of Digivolving was in uh, the previous video because the previous video was the first time DNA Digivolving was introduced. So that's why I mentioned it, but I told, but as I said before, I wouldn't mention who the Digimon is until that was created in uh, XPmon and Stingmon until this video because that is when the character bio actually shows up. So I, I just thought I'd mention that again just to be safe. And like and and XPmon and Digimon XPmon and Stingmon DNA Digimon form is known as uh, Pyeldramon and as Pyeldramon um x and Stingmon's special attacks are known as Desperado Blaster and Cable Catcher. Now, basically what Cable Catcher is, is basically, it's basically an attack where he shoots uh, his fingernails out as cables, and basically what Desperado Blaster is, is basically an attack where they, um, um, Use uh, these two guns that they have on the sides of their on the side. This these two guns that he had on the sides of his body and stuff. And the, the, then basically, when his character bio shows up, which explains about the Desperado blaster attack and stuff like that, um, then Davis is saying that their Digimon looks pretty good, and then and then Ken saying uh, there because he doesn't know that the thing on it. And, and x on a digital together, so it, 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 uh, so uh, Pyodramon is created from two champion level Digimon. And as I stated before, uh, for the second season, even though um, the first, even though it doesn't, uh, DNA Digivolving is like the second season equivalent of Ultimate level Digivolving. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And, um, while they're, um, fighting, while, uh, Pyodramon is fighting Okuomon, but before I continue with that, I just want to mention, Pyodramon is technically the second last of, uh, Beemon's evolutionary forms. The reason why I say Beemon's is because he's, he's part x Beemon and part Stingmon, so he's partially Beemon and then partially Stormmon as well. And the last form of the uh, Beemon's evolution will get introduced in the last episode of the 30th set of episodes, so I bet I won't explain who that is until I get to there and stuff. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. And then while um, Pyodramon is fighting Okuomon, um, 
Uh, AD sent them a message about um about what's happening with Ken's base. So the other school officer's base is well, I should technically say his former base because he's not the Digimon Emperor anymore at this point. Um, he's on their side, so I should say technically his former base. And then they, and then they find it, and then they find out that the pressure of the thing is just causing it to possibly explode and stuff. And then basically, what happens is, um, they get the idea to try to put uh, Ken's press of kindness into the slot, but it doesn't work. And um, and then um. Ken recognizes the pipe, so then they follow it, and they find, um, and then they find this, um, this weird dark energy thing, and then, the uh, Kari thing that she felt, the dark energy, that dark energy more when she was, which is technically true. It happened in the episode, the early set of episodes that I did before. Like after they found out Ken was the Digimon Emperor, and while they were still fighting him, she, you see, she got. If you check my last, my one of my videos for the ten set of episodes for this season, you'll see that I talked about an episode where she entered a world that was like a negative kind of photograph kind of thing. So if you guys want, you can check that out again. Just, just. I just thought I'd mention it since it kind of gets referenced. And then Ken's remembering about the dark ocean and stuff like that, and how he how he was. And Davis is wondering how he knows about it because he was a, he's been and he says it because he's been affected by the darkness ever since he entered the digital world. So what they do is they figure in order to stop the base, they put uh, Ken's press of kindness in it, but it doesn't work. And then basically the they start, still start exploding, and then Pyodramon notices what's uh, happening, and he's, he wonders if, like, Davis and Ken are okay and stuff, and then basically, Okuamon uses that as an opportunity to attack him, but then later on, Pyodramon destroys him, and they manage to, um, get out of the base before it completely explodes. And then basically what happens is, um, I'm guessing the woman is somewhere off in the distance. Uh, like I, uh, I should mention something about the woman, um, not this video or the next video, but the video after it will be the one where we finally see the woman's true identity and stuff. And as I think, I, st I believe I stated this before, she's technically a human that can take on the... A, a Digimon that can take a human form and stuff, which is kind of convenient. That means she can slip between both worlds and stuff, basically. Anyway, continuing on, um, the, and then the, they figure out about the face, like I said, and then after that, um, they stop the face from exploding, and, and Pyodramon manages to destroy Okuamon. And then basically what happens after that is, um, um, once, uh, Okuamon is destroyed, uh, Pyodramon turns back into the baby forms, into his two baby forms, that, because he's created from Vimon and, um, and, uh, ex Vimon and Thingmon. And this also introduces the baby form of, of the uh, Bimon, he's called Kibomon, and Davis is wondering who he is, and then they go back into the human world. I know. Well, before they go back into the human world, uh, Davis is asking Ken to join them, them and stuff, but Ken doesn't want it again. And then basically what happens uh, is um, Kari is saying that Davis is being, uh, trying to force things to happen. It, it has to happen like slowly and stuff, which this is exactly the truth, it kind of has to happen slowly, you can't, when you want someone to join you, you have to wait, you have to let them join you at your own pace, 
you can't try to force them to do things they and to do with them. I just gotta get that out of the way. And then they, then David goes to bed um with um with uh Kibelman and stuff, and that's kind of where the and then basically when that's kind of where this uh episode uh, stops. So um. Well, actually, they go back into the human world, and then and then they all go to bed because they're tired of what happened with the base and stuff. And then basically, what that's kind of where this episode stops. So if you guys like this video on YouTube, just please give me give it the real best you guys can, and I'll see you guys next time. And keep it digital. And one last thing about the history of Power Rangers series before I end this video, um. Basically, what happened, uh, the, the first season of the series that I'm going to do is going to be a really long segment, uh, 60 episodes long. I just thought I'd mention that. So, until, so until next time, guys, uh, as I always tell you, see you guys next time, and keep it digital.